this is Andre with Inside EVs and I'm here at IAA 2021 in Munich, Germany, the German Motor Show. And behind me is uh, Mercedes new electric sedan. It's second uh, ground up electric sedan, the EQE, which sits under the EQS in the automaker's electric sedan lineup. So what's different? Because at first glance, you'd be forgiven for, for thinking that it's the same vehicle. But the EQE has a slightly uh, smaller wheelbase and it's a bit smaller overall, but you don't really notice it. What you do notice are the different headlights, which have this design with this uh, dip here. The shape of the grille is ever so slightly different, but not by a huge margin. The AMG bumper also has slightly different details. And I don't think the EQS has this um, available uh, rim design. I really like these aero wheels, it has to be said. The manufacturers are getting better and better at making them. So this is just a normal spoked, five spoke AMG wheel, but they added these pieces of, it's plastic, it's um, pieces of plastic trim in the openings. And I don't think it detracts from the, from the design. I like them. So how big are these wheels? They are uh, 20s, 255, 40, 20. Just like in the EQS, this is where you replenish the washer fluid. It even has a little symbol in here. It has the EQE logo here. This is where the augmented reality head-up display system is projected from. The vehicle has the same uh, pop-out door handles. So from the rear, you would be forgiven for thinking that this is um, still the EQS. Even if at first glance um, they look identical, the um, light bar, the design of the individual elements is different here. I'm gonna climb aboard now. Honestly, I don't feel that it's any smaller than the EQS, to be honest. Mercedes has managed to uh, make the most of what little wheelbase it has. Little in air quotes, obviously. So as you can see, this particular example has the full 56 inch hyper screen, which you have to reach to <laughs> get to the corners. <laughs> Probably the main difference between um, between this and the EQS is the fact that you can't get the 107 kilowatt hour battery. All you can get in this is a just over 90 kilowatt hour battery pack, and I think this uh, reduces the range by around 100 ish kilometers. The EQS is actually the hatchback, and it's the EQE that is the sedan. Not sure why Mercedes chose to differentiate the models like this. Yeah, let's see how much space there is in the back. I just sat there and I can confirm it is positively massive. I like that Mercedes fitted its um, vehicles at the motor show with interior lighting. Makes filming so much better. So yeah, let's see the armrest. Let's see the cup holder situation. Are these cup holders? How do you use them? Please explain. Are they broken? Are they not cup holders? Okay. You have this airplane style um, pocket behind uh, the seat. This is the rear climate panel. And since this is an AMG model, you get, uh, well, we can opt for red seat belts. Let's see how comfy the front seats are. Oh yeah, this is good. This is very good. Hello. Let's adjust my seat. See how comfy I can make myself. I really don't like these new uh, Mercedes uh, seat adjustment buttons. I think they should have clicked because now you move the seat based on how much you pressure you apply. It's kind of weird. You want to go? 
Sorry? <laughs> I was I making a video. <laughs> I thought you no, were no, no, no. No, but to be fair, these are not very good buttons. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they don't click, you know? I think Mercedes made a mistake. Yeah, That's what yeah, I was yeah, saying yeah. in the video here. Okay, here the So, yeah. This is the passenger touchscreen. Let's see what we can do here. So you can access the navigation. Can you put the navigation in three spots at the same time? I, I assume you can. You can have nav on all three screens. Can you? That would be um, super redundant. Are you shooting? No, 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 no. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. This is the start stop button. I noticed that some reviewers have um, noticed this. Some who ha had a chance to um, to play with this car before that this isn't really fixed particularly well in place here. But you know, minor niggles. Maybe this is a uh, pre-production vehicle. The traditional split opening Mercedes uh, center console. Yeah, the a the new Mercedes AMG steering wheel. Yeah. The EQE. I'm really, really looking forward to driving this vehicle. And it's very important for Mercedes because this and not the EQS is uh, the three-pointed stars uh, Tesla Model S rival. So I'm super excited to see what this is like, even if it doesn't have as big a battery as the EQS. So let's check out the EQE without the screen, without the hyper screen. Let's see what this is like. It's here. This is a white one. It has um, different wheels. Ooh, these are fancy looking. I'm gonna touch them. Oh yeah, these are super awesome. And they are actually they are actually covered here, but here you can uh, poke your finger through them. It's very cool. I think you can remove these uh, plastic things separately. They appear to be fixed in place here, and they probably clip in th to this part. In fact, you can already hear it moving. Okay, so let's see what the interior looks like uh, without the hyper screen. Ooh, this white interior feels considerably fancier than the black one with the AMG seats. So this is what they put in place of the third screen. Nothing. And this is the normal steering wheel. So yeah, this is the driver's perspective. Can I see you again? Shut it yeah. I'm not sure what he said, but he seemed nice and helpful here. I think he wanted to um, turn on the screens for me. So you have the same Vitality um, programs as you do in the S-Class and the EQS. And super roomy. I can't get over the fact that this is a um, very, very roomy car. I'm hugely impressed. And I'm not noticing any difference between this and, uh, and the EQS. As I said when I was talking in the other car, the matte gray one, I can't wait to drive this. I have high hopes for this. This is, uh, could be a winner. 